Hey there UK DCers, I'm back. Sorry for being a little bit quiet for a while, I was ill. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed this is very late for first impressions. It's also why it's already unboxed, because uh, I've been mucking around with it for a while. Incidentally, that means I've also already done this test. That's already on the spreadsheet. I'll put a link in the description. This one's the new king, by the way. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I lost my voice. I've just got over that been off work and all that not um so I'm, I'm just finally managing to get things done again recording this now so i got my michael may the other day fantastic um uh okay i just let's let's put the bad stuff at the beginning because i want to get it out of the way and then go on to the good stuff because i like this knife i am happy with this knife i just want to put this stuff at the beginning if this puts you off you'll be able to be like oh no not for me and then you can continue. Uh, keep in mind, this is a custom. This is handmade by Michael May himself. It's like one guy in a workshop to order. So keep that in mind with this. £105, that's it for these great materials and all that labour. You know, this guy's really into his craft. There are a couple of things I have to say, though. Uh, number one, the centering is... Uh, that's Sheffield, yeah. Okay, the centering is not great. Uh, it doesn't have blade rub though. Okay, so I don't care if it did what this Rough Rider does, which is where it's so bad that oh, is this idea? When you open it, it actually see that mark there. That's where it's grinding against this sheep's foot. You can see that there, and that's where they're grinding against each other because the centering is so. This this uh, sheep's foot should be over that way a bit more, basically. But yeah, I mean, this doesn't look. Look, this this one's actually touching on there as well. But uh, although it doesn't have any touch there, but so it doesn't have blade rub, but it it does have pretty uh, if yet best centering. Also, the ends of the bolsters. Don't know if you can see that. They're actually slanted to the side. They're not uh, completely parallel. They're very slightly like uh, like that way instead of being straight and straight next to each other. And I think that might contribute to the poor centering and this next problem, which is a little bit sucky. Uh, the only way I can show it is if you look. If you focus, please. Thank you look at the blade spine at the top just at the top of the bolsters oh if i can i guess if i can do this see that see it moving over that is blade play and you can you can feel it a lot more when you're doing this that's uh unfortunate it's not a lot but it's uh it's that much you can see how much it's moving over so that's a shame. That's the bad stuff out of the way. The, hey, focus again. The sort of okay stuff. There we go. Is, it comes with an all right edge, but uh, it's D2, so it's easy enough. You might want to resharpen it. Look at that. You can't really see any of that, can you? Oh, no. There we go. Trust me, that's just me being an idiot. There we go. Right. But yeah, yeah, it's easy enough to get sharp. On to what I love about it. So I love that it's handmade. Um, with, with this order you get, and on his website as well, you can find it. You get uh, Michael May's uh, full story there, which is lovely to know. It's good to know about your maker. <laughs> Not, you know, the knife maker is what I meant there. It's uh, it's good to know about the history of the knife maker. It's just interesting. It's there if you want it. If you don't, just chuck it away. Who cares? I'm sure you're not going to hurt Michael May's feelings. But yeah, it comes with that. It comes with, you know, for £105, you're already getting, you know, if this was like a 
case knife or whatever, it'd easily be worth that because you've got your buffalo horn, actual turquoise. This is not like this. This is just like uh, faux turquoise, I think they call it. So just plastic then. This is proper turquoise. Brass liners, D2 steel. Uh, sorry, brass bolsters. You do get brass liners though. And uh, I don't know if that's D2 backspring. It's just a backspring, but it's it's fine. Good backspring as well. Like I said, it's top top of the leaderboard now. So yeah, great snap, great walk and talk. Literally, the action on this is so good. There's no half stop. Look at that, just that. And even though this is the hardest knife I've got to open, because of that giant thumb like nail nick, which I really like. Um, like I don't like nail nicks, but when they're that big, it's sort of it's okay. You know, it takes nicely up the first point of this clip point blade as well. It just makes it easy to open. You can really just get in there. You don't really have to look where you're grabbing, and it's just so quick to open. It's nice and smooth. There's none of that stupid half stop rubbish. You just get this huge point up here where it just rocks. It's sort of like a mini half stop, I guess, but not really. Um, like you don't get a stop pin, but you don't generally need them on Michael Mays because he knows what he's doing. Uh, oh yeah. Also on mine, um, on Paddy's, you could never see the England. On mine, you can't see the England in that position, but bring her around to the halfway point and it pops out full display there. And you can see my mug in the bolster there, <laughs> swab. But yeah. Feels lovely. This is 80 grams. Uh, it's of course on this channel, meaning that the focus is going to be shit. No. Sorry. Meaning that this is going to be UK legal. And I can demonstrate that by going oosh. Oh, well, I guess the whole blade is about that. 2.7 inches and the cutting edge is what just over 2.5 and if you care that's 6.4 centimeters and about seven centimeters so don't worry about this being uk legal or not it's completely completely within your right to carry that without a reason as long as you're not going anywhere stupid the finish on the blade is just a nice hand rubbed oh, i don't know if that's hand rubbed or belt rubbed but um either way I think that's belt rub, doesn't it? But you know, just yeah, just against the belt there. Very well done. Very nice and smooth and all that lot. Uh, you can see where I've given it a new edge at the bottom. I've sort of buffed some of that out. But um, oh well. But yeah, uh, for 105 pounds, you're not getting those materials and like the craftsmanship anywhere else. It ain't perfect, it is, it is a Sheffield knife, and you know, we all know the Sheffield stories, um, but it's lovely, and I, I'm, personally, on a genuine level, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, I would be happier if it didn't have those small issues. As of yet, though, I don't feel like they're bad enough to warrant complaining or anything like that. I'm fine with them. That might change in the full review. I'm going to be using this for a month before I review it. Uh, from now, I guess, because uh, I haven't actually carried it to work. But yeah, hopefully we'll see. We'll see how it fares at work. But yeah, thanks for watching. Michael May, custom Barlow there. There'll be a link to his website in the description if you're interested. In uh, maybe touching your own like i said keep in mind there'll be a delivery time but it will tell you on the website so uh, yeah thank you very much guys cheers